Hi everybody, my name is Ms. Palulo. I'm going to be one of the AP Biology teachers along with Mr. Rays. Um, I wanted to make this quick video to just show you, number one, where to find the summer assignment and what to expect for the summer assignment. So what you should be seeing here is the Livingston High School main page. You're going to enter the departments, click on to science, and then on the left hand side you'll see um, a little tab for summer assignments. It's all the way at the bottom. As you scroll down, you'll see a list of items for the AP Biology summer assignment. Um, so if you click the first PDF document, you'll just see a, an explanation of everything that you'll have. So one of the first things, um, being that we're in a remote learning state right now, um, we will give you instructions on how to access the Campbell Biology um, e-text. Um, so that will give you access to the e-text along with animations that are embedded into the uh, website. Um, obviously in September or whenever we should meet face to face, we will give you the hard copy textbook. Um, you'll also have the instructions document, some notes, um, and then some videos for a podcast to listen to, um, an article to read, and then a scientific method activity. And I'm going to go through all of these items um, shortly. Um, if you have any questions over the summer, we just ask that you please email both of us, myself, mpalulo at livingston.org, and Mr. Rays at prays at livingston.org. So if you go back to the site, um, so the instructions walk you through what to expect for the chemistry and biochemistry notes. Um, so one of the first things um, we are going to start the school year with are these topics. Um, and you have to bring your multiple choice test with you um, and your bio biochemistry materials with you on the first day of class, whether we're virtual or whether we are um, in person. You will get quizzed on these uh, materials um, at some point within, you know, the first week or so of class. Um, and what we've also done, if you scroll down to the second page, um, is we've just given you some information and tips for take-home assignments. We will be doing a lot of take-home assignments throughout the year. Um, so just try to read through that document and get a feel for what to expect um, for the rest of the year because this is going to be a huge part of our course. In addition, um, we'll have, uh, we have a little tab here down at the bottom of four items that you must bring with you. Um, obviously, all of your answers to both the chemistry and biochemistry take-home tests. Um, you'll have a summary, a typed summary of the podcast that it, the link is found on the list of items page. And you'll also bring your scientific method activity. I'll go over that next. And then you'll also bring a rough draft of a one pager and I'll explain what that is as well. So um, the chemistry notes and the biochemistry notes are there for you. I'm not going to open those up because those are kind of self-explanatory. You'll also have a short answer um, and take home test uh, document here. So those three I highly recommend or encourage that you download, potentially print if you're someone who's more of a hands-on learner. Um, you could also download those to a OneNote or convert them from your PDF format, whatever is easiest for you. Then you have the instructions on how to access the e-text. Um, follow these directions to the T. Um, you'll be able to register um, and then create an account for specifically um, the AP Biology course. I know everything is labeled Palulo, however, whether you have myself or Mr. Ray's, it's all gonna be one grouping. That way it was easier for us um, to allow you guys to create this. So once you get access, um, you'll have to type in a very specific access code. So please type that exactly as you see it. And then once you um, finish this portion, you'll be able to sign in um, and get the access. Um, access will begin the last day of school this year. So um, it'll open up June 25th and you'll have access all through um, the 2021 school year until June 30th of 2021. 
Then um, we have the scientific method directions and rubric for the one pager that I had mentioned. Um, if you've never done a one pager before, um, it's basically literally a drawing or a summary of um, your understanding of a certain topic. Um, so one pager is like it says here, it's a visual to kind of share or summarize concepts that you've learned. And the key part is being concise. It's not meant to, you know, throw lots and lots and lots of words on there. It should be, you know, something where you're summarizing everything, drawing pictures, things like that. Um, there are important guidelines, so it has to be handwritten and legible. Um, you cannot use anything computer-based, so you can't print pictures, you can't, you know, type things and paste them onto a paper. Um, you're welcome to trace from a computer. That's completely fine if you're not the best artist, that is fine. Um, you can use pen, pencils, colored pencils, whatever you want. Um, if you are doing it on the computer, once again, you have to use your pen um, and it's all handwritten. Um, nothing should be typed, like I said, and you're just using a single paper. So eight and a half by 11, single side. Um, and the whole point of that is because you're processing, practicing, excuse me, the process of synthesizing essential information. Um, your goal is to try to fill the page, but again, try not to overdo it. Um, you'll see some examples on the next page. So these are some from um, like biome activities, and then there's some from other uh, courses like English, um, things like that. Um, there are templates that you can use, and both myself and Mr. Ray's have that. So if you prefer using this as like your blank template, uh, please just reach out to one of us and we'd be happy to give that to you. In addition, um, we're just saying a rough draft can be completed for the first day of school. That way, if you did have some questions, you can bring those the first week. Um, you can look at some peers and, and get some suggestions prior to giving or turning in your final copy. Um, but basically, the whole point is you have to include all components of the scientific method. And we've also provided a PowerPoint for you um, that will help you with that. And then if you scroll all the way to the bottom, we also included the um, rubric so you can get an idea for that. Um, number nine is your reference PowerPoint. That's the one I was talking about. You can use that um, to help you with your one pager. Then you have your scientific method activity. So this is all going to be based on, and we kept it in a Word document so that you can type directly into it, or if you'd rather print it or, or again, handwrite it or use your computer pen to handwrite it, that's fine as well. Um, you're going to basically fill all of this out, completing all the steps based on one of the articles that are provided. So you can choose which article they're all based on COVID-19 um, and you can just open each article and kind of get a feel for what it is read the abstract and see if it's something that you would prefer um, you know if that's not your favorite you can pick another one just one article read it and use that to answer all of the questions in your activity here okay then um, there's also a little scientific synopsis document here, um, which again, just gives you an idea of, you know, what to expect in scientific method, okay? So that's all there for reference for you. So mainly what you're working on is you're creating your e-text account, so you have access to the biology textbook. You're going to complete the chemistry notes, biochemistry notes, and the take-home test for the, both of those assignments. You're going to create a rough draft for a one-pager. You're going to um, listen to the podcast and write a one-page type summary of that. You're going to create, read through one of the articles on COVID-19 and use that to complete the scientific method activity. Um, for reference, you have the scientific method reference PowerPoint and you also have the scientific synopsis act, uh, article. Um, both of those, that's number uh, nine and 10, those are there to help you better understand the concepts. So that's basically everything for the summer assignment. Um, again, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out to both myself, um, mpalulo at livingston.org, as well as Mr. Rays, um, 
praise at livingston.org. Uh, we prefer that you email both of us just so that if, you know, one of us is going to be checking uh, periodically, so one of us will be able to respond in a reasonable amount of time. But good luck, and we will hope to see you in person or virtually in September.